In this video, we'll be finding the residual error in a multiple regression using Excel. Oftentimes, that's referred to as the SSE. Okay, so first we need, we're going to need the uh, data analysis. If you don't have that, you go to File, Options, Add-ins, and then choose Analysis Tool Pack. All right, and then once you have that, you can go to the data, choose the data analysis, and then choose Regression. So we're going to click OK on that. Now, I already have this in here because I've kind of uh, done this beforehand. This is our Y variable, the cost. And so we've got our input Y range. And then we have three variables for our, um, for our independent variables, three Xs, temperature, insulation, and age. Well, guess what? Uh, Excel lets you just pull all of them, all three columns, and it is coded in there to know that, okay, now we're going to be doing uh, multiple regression. So that's great. I clicked on Excel, I um, clicked on Labels, so that um, Excel would know that I want to include these labels. And then the output range, I just clicked on a cell over here so that we could have all this output on the same page. Now I will click OK. And it all comes there, and we've got a summary output. Uh, for your, if you want to cut this video short, you can. You can. Uh, I'll tell you right now. This is it. What I've got highlighted here. This is the SSE. This 41,695.28. That's the residual error uh, that that we're looking for up here. But if you want to uh, do it the long way, that's it's actually very good to be able to read this. So our coefficients. This is our intercept, is 427, and then these are the coefficients. So negative 4.58 times each temperature um, variable or temperature input, and negative 14.8 times the insulation, and 6.1 times the age input. So that's what I have up here. In this column up here, I'll highlight that. I've got J21, that's the intercept, plus J22, that's negative 4.58 times the um, uh, temperature plus J23 times the insulation plus J24 times the age, that cell. Notice what I've done here is I've put the dollar signs in front of the 21 and, and uh, J22 and J23 and J24. And what that does is that holds that cell so that when we take this this cell, this formula, and pull it down. What does change is the B, C, and D numbers. You can see that happen. But what does not change is these coefficients because we don't want those to change in the formula. Okay, so now we've got the Y hat, and then you can just use Excel to go Y minus hat, Y hat, so equals our actual um, output, 250, minus the Y hat. And you can do that for each of these and get y minus y hat squared equals this y minus y hat raised to the second power. And then I'm going to highlight both of these and pull this all down so that I have all of those formulas copied. Um, and then we get this sum, which is what I said a, uh, just a minute ago, that this is the SSE um, the y minus y hat squared. Okay, I hope that helps.